All right then, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Crypto Space. So in today's video, we are going to cover Pepe, a twist and price action. We are going to cover a couple of very important news related to Bitcoin and overall market. And on the top of that, we are going to cover a couple of interesting charts for BTC and altcoins in order to see of what we can expect in short term future as well as long term future from the market and of course from Pepe. So guys, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not financial advice. And now let's hop into Pepe itself. Pepe is currently trading at 57617. Jesus, so many numbers and is currently experiencing a leg up of 3.8% on a daily time frame. Market cap is currently sitting at 3.1 billion USD and 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at 1.2 billion USD. Pepe is traded like hell. But anyways, let's have a look at crypto bubbles. So of course the daily winners are not only Pepe on the daily because we do have Bonk as well, Ton Network, we've got Rweave, which I never heard about, which is pumping 12.9% and majority of the market is actually recovering. But now let's come back to Pepe. So guys, last time I've updated you, that was 30th of April. So let's have a look on the 30th of April. We were sitting at 211,678 holders. And as of today, we are sitting at 213,521 holders, which gives us a difference of 1,843 new holders holders for Pepe and that is something that we do have to check on a constant basis you know when we are you know pretty much aping into Pepe to see whether you know that accumulation is growing or people are dumping but before we are going to head into the chart I would like to cover a couple of interesting details and the first of them are going to be the ETFs so as of 1st of May it's quite bad we've got half a billion you know outflows from ETFs and now 2nd of May zero if it comes to BlackRock and in general we've got 34.4 million USD of outflows from a BTC. However, Europe's second biggest bank, BNP Paribas, bought BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETFs. So that is very interesting. On the top of that, BlackRock expects adoption of spot Bitcoin ETFs by institutional investors such as sovereign wealth funds and pensions in the coming months. So I do think that that was a retail part. And now I think, you know, bigger money is going to flow into BTC. And of course, you know, more money is going to flow into BTC more money is going to flow into you know other projects like Pepe for example so let's have a look at this piece of information just in Fidelity says pension funds are starting to explore investing into Bitcoin and crypto and now US pension funds alone have more than 10 trillion USD assets under management so guys this is big and now let's finally have a look at the chart for Pepe so that is a four hourly time frame now I think you know in the previous update I was probably a little bit too bearish because you know I was convinced that we are going to retest that level as a support but you know we do have a strong bullish momentum well or at least before we had that strong bullish momentum and we have and we have closed above that resistance that belongs to that you know bullish flag model however now on the four hourly time frame we are pretty much you know retesting that level as a support so that candle basically shows that you know there is a strong selling pressure however if we are going to get supported that is going to look you know much more bullish for pepe and now speaking about the target let me actually switch it to the daily so i do have a photo over here guys to kind of represent it a little bit better for you so we are going to measure that target together so and now i am going to draw the line from let's say here okay if we would like to be a little bit more you know bullish so uh, let's let's do it from here and now basically take that to here so if that target of a bull flag would technically play out that would be around 431 percent of gains for pepe so that would be above 4x and now let's take um, second option into consideration which is shortening the flagpole and let's put that flagpole over here and that would be a pump of around 150 percent for pepe so do i think that's possible but anyways let's have a look at the rsi so if it comes to rsi we are let's say in a neutral area of 56 and now let's examine 
the MACD. We have experienced a bullish cross. Oh my goodness, I'm blind. So anyways, we actually do have that bullish cross on MACD for Pepe, which could last for a while, just like with the previous pump. So, you know, things are actually showing strength for Pepe, you know, based on the technicals. And now if we are going to look at the perspective of moving averages, we are supported by all of the moving averages. So things are looking good for Pepe in general. And if you would be interested into keeping your Pepe safe, make sure that you check out Tangem Wallet. So with Tangem Tangem Wallet is definitely much safer rather than keeping your Pepe or whatever other crypto on exchanges on which anything might happen. Make sure that you check it out and with my discount code you can get minus 10% off. So the link is in the description down below. And now let's have a look at a couple of charts guys because that is also important. Let's have a look at overall Bitcoin charts and on the top of that on altcoin charts as well. So. First of all, shout out to Trader Taringrade. And now Bitcoin stock RSI on weekly chart has come down to oversold area, which might indicate a new pump is coming ahead. At the same time, BTC is holding up at the weekly ascending trend line. It's not surprised that BTC bounce up from here. That could actually play out. So we could see that bullish reversal towards the upside, you know, in the overall market. And now shout out to El Crypto Prof. History doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. BTC has touched a trend line that has played an important role since the beginning of 2023. The thing will be sent higher. It's only a matter of time. So guys, let's have a look at the previous cycle, right? So basically, this is where we are at in that area of previous all-time highs. And after that, you know, sideways price action, we had a huge parabola for BTC. So let's explore, you know, that time. So over here, we've dipped below that, you know, support for a BTC. And after that, we saw, you know, continuation. And now this is exactly where we are at. So first of all, we have dipped below all-time highs. And now we are retesting that strong level that leads us back to October last year. And once we are going to see that bounce, which is possible, I believe, then we could see Pepe pumping much harder. And now, altcoins. USDT dominance broke through a trend line that had been intact for almost six years. This is just a backtest. Old season will come. You just need patience. So I do think so. And this is something that I'm thinking as well, guys, right? Like, of course, my portfolio went down too. It depends, obviously, you know, what time you got into the market. But, you know, my portfolio is significantly down as well because I haven't withdrawn my profits. You know, even if I tell everybody to withdraw my profits, you know, that's how the greed works, right? But anyways, let's have a look at that trend line. So once we are going to get rejected from that, that is going to, you know, most likely start the altcoin season. And now looking at altcoins, shout out to the Scalping Pro, altcoins market cap has broken out of the Wyckoff accumulation pattern. The dip looks like a short-term correction before a massive leg up. So now, once we have entered the phase E completely and in which we are actually pulling back, after that, we technically could see the parabola for altcoins. And now if we are going to look at the perspective of altcoins and how many dips we saw the last cycle, I don't think we should be really worried because, you know, we had that, you know, break out of the work of accumulation or whatever. Then we had the first, second, third and four major pullbacks for old coins. And as we can see, guys, right now we are experiencing the third one. So the fourth one possibly later on, you know, this is something that we do have to be prepared, you know, and I've heard people saying that this is the end of the cycle. Well, personally, I don't think so. You know, based on everything I'm showing you, I don't think that this is, you know, the bear cycle. Old coins are still moving in a descending broading wedge. What also speaks in favor of this is that BTC has closed the monthly close above 60k. Then there was the shakeout. Market makers are just playing games with us and this is exactly what I'm thinking. And that chart by the way is crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin on a 12 hourly time frame. And that means that it's including Ethereum as well. So let's have a look at the trading view and actually let's explore altcoins that are excluding ethereum as well all right so on a daily chart guys first of all you know we are lagging behind obviously btc right so btc is pretty much already in that area so btc obviously is pulling back from its all-time highs but if we are going to look at alts we are getting rejected from the first major level of resistance that leads us back to the previous cycle so obviously we still have some time but i do believe that this is one of the last shakeouts before we are going to see a much bigger leg up on our alts. So once we are going to, you know, close above that, probably we are going to retest this as a support, not mentioning about, you know, all time highs 
for altcoins. And now one interesting thing that I would like to show you is that if I'm going to switch it to weekly, guys, I actually do have, you know, the cap and handle. Let me just turn it around a little bit. So as you can guys see, altcoins are pretty much forming a huge cap and handle pattern, which in most of the cases is bullish. So sooner or later, we are going to see that pump on our olds. And to be honest with you, I can't wait. Ladies and gents, that's it what I've got for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed that Pepe, altcoin and BTC update. And I wish you having a great day or evening wherever you are in the world. Peace and love crypto.